body weight rear foot elevated split squats with a pause. This exercise here is a very challenging one, but a wicked one as well. What you're going to be doing, rear foot elevated implies that that back leg is going to be up. Ideally, what you want is to have that foot flat. Some people like to prop their toes up. It is a bit of preference, but with the foot flat, you'll be able to get a little bit deeper into that rear foot elevated split squat. Now from here, I'm driving down, I have a little pause, and then coming up, driving down, little pause, coming up, driving down, little pause, coming up, same thing on the other side. You're gonna notice as I get to that bottom, I have a good vertical shin here. I'm driving through the heel to really try and activate my glute as I come down, drive through. The other thing you're gonna notice with this exercise, and clients say this to me all the time is, I really feel it more in the back leg. And that is because you're getting a huge stretch through your hip flexors, but you do wanna make sure that you can maintain a neutral spine. So sometimes the fix is to just lean forward a little bit. Notice how my spine stays neutral and then I drive up. That will also allow me to activate my glutes. When you're performing this exercise, there is a bit of a sweet spot in terms of how high your bench goes. So typically, a little bit lower is better. This is a higher bench. It worked okay for me, but I would recommend if you have a lower bench or a lower step using that. The other thing that works great is the edge of a couch because you have that nice soft cushiony feel for your foot as you place it up. You're gonna go down to the bottom of that squat. You hold for a second and then drive up. Same thing with any single leg squat or lunge variation, knee, hip, and toes all aligned, pointing in that same direction. Perform the exercise, but if you don't like the elevated variation, then you can just perform your single leg split squats.